think about this. Away from home. There. The fields of Elysium. The rare heavenly splendors of Elysium reserved for only the most great of mortal souls, spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire-stepping prince. Luxuriantly? Really? For all his faults, Father did make this place look good. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. That eyeball is that him? That one's rearming. Damn it, one's come back. it. Interloper! I shall deal with you later then. Peace and quiet. Cheers. Long spears.
Strong bows. sucking butterflies.
Elysium is up in arms again because of you. I understand that you created quite a stir within Elysium. An all-out brawl within Eternal Paradise. You call that paradise? It's just a bunch of shades bored out of their former skulls, itching for a chance to feel alive again. What would you know of it? The greatest mortals have their every need fulfilled within that place. Dread to hear what they shall say of all of this. You'll find out soon enough. Here are the gems. Let's try a different rug there, if you please. The poets doubtless shall be singing of your rug. Achilles is off duty. Here. I trust that the mirror in your bedchamber has proved satisfactory, dear child. Better than I could have possibly imagined, Nix. You mentioned there was something more that it could do once I had grown accustomed. I think I'm ready for that now. I think you are as well. Then it shall be as you wish. Thank you. stay even though you don't want to live here anymore your highness and there she goes again when the prodigal son returns everyone's saying i went easy on you zag don't worry meg i eventually managed to get home the painful way after all look i have a reputation to uphold you get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be, and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. What's up for Barter? Just what I always wanted. of the softness of the richly woven rug the prince procured cannot be fully felt beneath his flame-licked feet. I guess it's soft. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the Prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his Lord Father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. 
I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him. That he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... but father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. You... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? grown in power. Thank you, Nyx. <laughs> Show me something new. that. 